Hello everybody, uh, can you find out how many squares are there in this chessboard or in this figure or the figure behind me in 10 seconds? Uh, if you can do so, that's fantastic. If you cannot do that, watch this video till the end and you will be able to do so. Uh, having said that, my name is Amit and I welcome you to aptitude360.online. Uh, let's get started and see how do we find out number of squares here in 10 seconds. Uh, my, first, my first question out here is this. Now, how many squares do we see? Uh, the very first option is, uh, is 16. And most of the people will say that 16 is the right answer. But is 16 the right answer? Watch this very carefully. Those of you who are saying that 16 is the right answer. How about this? How about this? Isn't it a square? Uh, so people say that, okay, I forgot it. And uh, the right answer is not 16. Rather, this is 17. But then 17 is also a wrong answer. So what is the right answer out here? 30 is the right answer. Let us find out how or why 30 is the right answer to this problem. Uh, everybody must have found out these 16 squares. When I say one cross one, uh, I am trying to talk about these squares. These squares of the smallest dimension, which is one cross one. Uh, so it's pretty easy to find them out. One, two, three, four, four here and four here and four here and four here. There will be a total of 16 squares. Uh, how about how about these squares? Two cross two. So if I will have to find out uh, these squares, this is this is this is the dimension that I'm talking about. This one. Uh, so how many squares are there of this dimension in this diagram? So uh, this you have seen the first one and probably this is the second one and the third one is here. So from here to here, do you understand? We have got three squares. Uh, from here to here, you will have additional three squares uh, like this. This is one and then this is the second one and the third one and the third one is this, isn't it? And, and another three squares we will get from here. One and then two and then this is the this is the third one so how many how many squares we have got of this dimension uh, in total we have got nine how do we get nine three from here and then three from here and three from here right so in total how many squares are we having we are having nine squares of two cross two dimension how many squares do we get of three cross three dimension now uh, let us see this. Let us see this. when I say that three cross three. This is what I this is what I am trying to say. Let me change the color of the pen so that you understand it better. Uh, so three cross three. The very first square of this dimension is out here, isn't it? And how about the second one? The second one is the second one is this one. This one. So from here to here, you have got two squares. And similarly, from here to here, you will be having additional two squares, uh, which is which is this one, which is this one, and this one, right? So in total, how many squares do we have of this dimension? We have got four squares of three cross three dimension. Uh, now, how about four cross four, uh, which is gonna be this? See, this this is the only square that you have got out here. So how many squares? one and if you add them up the answer is going to be 30 isn't it so how many squares do we have over here we have got 30 squares but should we be doing with this method uh, no why because we have got a shortcut now let's get started and let's see uh, what is the shortcut that i am talking about out here now this 16 is four square right how about this nine can i say that can I say that 9 is 3 square and 4 is 2 square and this number is 1 square, right? So rather than counting them uh, individually, what we should be doing is we should be finding out 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square, right? And the answer will be 30. But then there is another shortcut that if you apply you can figure it out in, in probably 10 seconds and that shortcut is this and every one of you know this uh, that is summation of n square that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square 
uh, so forth and so on up to up to n square so if you now i i suppose that you know this formula so what do we call this uh, this is called uh, sum of squares of first n natural numbers so if we need to find out 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square what we should be doing is uh, we should plug in n as 4 in this formula and the moment we plug in n as 4 what is that we should be getting 4 into 5 into 9 over 60 and if you simplify this what is that you will be getting so if you see we are getting we are getting 30 as an answer so all that i'm trying to say is that even if it is going to be one square plus two square plus three square up to 20 square this does not make a difference uh, what we have to do we have to plug in n as 20 and we will be able to find out the right answer i am giving you one more problem so that you find out how many squares are going to be there uh, let me let me do it on this slide itself so what i'm doing is I am asking you to find how many, how many squares are there. Right. Let's see this. How many, how many rows do we have here? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And how many columns do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this, this is a this is a 5 cross 5 figure. Uh, this the previous one, this was a 4 cross 4 figure now understand this when we can apply this shortcut when number of rows and number of columns both of them are same so rows must be four five and columns must be five then you can apply the shortcut what am i telling you you can apply n as five in the formula that we have learned so n is going to be five n plus one will be six two n plus one will be eleven over six if you simplify how many how many squares we will be having we will be having a total of 55 square and we don't even have to count them all right uh, that is what you need to learn but as i said that when can we apply the shortcut when rows and columns both of them are same when they are not same you cannot apply this shortcut now let me find out one more problem so this is the chessboard and we need to find out how many squares are there uh, so what is the first thing that we should be checking out here is number of rows and number of columns whether they are same or not So how many rows do we have one two three four five six seven and eight and how many columns do we have? One two three four five six seven and eight. So this is this is an, an eight cross eight figure So what we should be doing uh, in this formula we should plug in n as n as 8 right so if you if you do so this is going to be 8 and then 9 and then 17 over over 6 and if you simplify this what is that you will be having you will be having 12 times 17 and if you simplify that you have got the right answer which is 204 now isn't it isn't it done in 10 seconds and do you have to count all those 204 squares individually no you don't have to do that right but when can we apply this shortcut when rows and columns both of them are same they cannot be different before i end this video i need you to find out number of squares in this diagram now probably had these two things not been here you could have said that number of squares are 30 and this is what we did so how many rows do we have here 1 2 3 and 4 and how many columns do we have 1 2 3 and 4 so 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square this is what we need to find out and the answer would have been 30 had these two diagrams not been here uh, because these two diagrams are here what we should be doing is we should be counting these squares separately 1 2 3 and 4 and this one is the fifth one right so five squares from here and five squares from here in total you will be having 10 more squares and the right answer to this problem will be 40 i hope that you're understanding this but what is that we are learning in this video uh, you can apply a summation of n square only if rows and columns both of them are same what if what if rows and columns both of them are not same 
uh, for that you will have to watch the next video in the series and i hope that you have enjoyed watching this this video uh, please subscribe to the channel press the bell icon and, uh, and uh, spread this video amongst your friends if you feel that you're learning something meaningful right uh, i'm gonna watch you in the next video where we are gonna talk about the number of squares when rows and columns are not same uh, till then bye bye and take care